guys, Target Cyclone FPV here, and I am uh, actually working on an X Lite right now. And I, you know, I got into it a little bit, and then I was like, you know what, maybe this would be a good thing to do and put a video on. Now, I got to tell you though that what I'm doing on the X Lite is my first time to do, but it seems to be making some sense here. So um, I'm going to do a little camera adjustment here and see if I can zoom out just a little bit, and I'll do a. Uh, whoops, hold on. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can get this. There we go. All right, so what you're seeing in front of you, this is uh, x Light, one of our pilots, John Hampton. This is his, and he's been having some problems with it. It's been acting up pretty bad, and so uh, I decided to go ahead and get into it. Now, here's the one thing that I noticed about this, and I don't think he noticed it at the time, was that the, um, I've got kind of a couple little burn marks. This thing was getting super hot, and the funny part is where it was getting hot was right here at the USB port, and so I decided to take it apart. Now, Unfortunately, I didn't get to start the video on that because I didn't think I was going to be getting this much into it when I started. But um, it it did appear, I mean, it was getting hot, but you couldn't really tell. All you could see is the screen flickering, which I've already taken off, but I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to take it off again right now, but to be honest with you, I just put the four screws back in to hold it in place, and I, oh, my LiPo is done. All right, I'm charging the LiPo right now. That's what you're hearing. So um, all I did was, uh, uh, take off these panels. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it. I mean, screw it. It's nothing I can't do again now. I will say putting the screen back in is kind of a pain in the butt, but um, so just kind of pay attention to what I'm doing here. So these wires have to come out, right? And these were actually zip tied to um, the antenna plate here, which actually holds the uh, R9, uh, R9M light as well on the back. So these have to go back in. And then those, these wires are zip tied using these zip ties, which are cut. So I'll put new ones on, but um, then this will go back on, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because I want you to see uh, what, what I did on this. And you know, if you ever have problems like this, maybe you can do the same thing. So um, there's four screws left here that I need to take out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those real quick, kind of give you an idea. And the only two issues I had putting this back in was the screen's kind of a pain to put back in, um, but it finally managed to go in. I did turn on the hot glue gun because I said if I do take it apart again, which apparently now I'm going to, I'll most likely hot glue the panel back on only because I just want it to sit in place and what it kept doing is just kind of falling out but let me show you what I was working with okay so once I get these screws and uh, let me get let me get these out of here so there's one uh, these four screws now there's more than four that go back in but these are the last four to take out and so I will take them out again and then I'll put them back in and we'll by watching me put this back together you should be able to do the reverse and take it apart if you need to so this panel is going to come out all right, and the screen is actually right here. Okay, so let me, because I did have another one where I needed to replace the screen. Matter of fact, I should do that too, probably soon. Um, all right, so here's a screen, and uh, let me get this here. Well, actually, I didn't have to take this off, so I'm not gonna mess with that right now, but so here's a screen, right? And the way this thing is gonna sit is um, it's just gonna basically line up like this, but it's not snapping in place. And I don't feel like disconnecting the ribbon, so I kind of just had to make sure it stayed in there. Now, what I'm going to do this time, though, and I don't see any harm in this, to be honest with you. Looking at the way these electronics are routed, this isn't going to affect anything. Um, I'm just going to sit the screen in place, because the screen is what gives me the hardest time. So let me just go ahead and do that. But I'll still explain to you what I found wrong with the system to begin with. Uh, here it goes. So I'm just gonna put the screen, and just kinda get it in here. And this glue will uh, have no problem coming off if I need to, uh, if I need to uh, remove it if something ever happens to it. But I just want it to kinda dry here real quickly. And then that way at least the screen will stay attached to the plastic panel here. And then once it does that, it's easy to put in place. But until then, it's kind of a pain in the butt. All right, let me just make sure I got a little bit more. I thought it would snap in, but it's not really going to do that. Uh, I found that out quickly that it won't do that. But this, this glue peels off, so it's not like it's going to stick and ruin it. It's going to peel off when I want it to come off. So anyways, we're going to let that cool real quick, okay? And then I'm going to show you how to put it back together. And I'm going to go over the problem that I found and what caused it. All right, so one second. Let's get this to cool. Oh, I have my air can here, so let me just kind of quick cool it here. Okay, perfect. So 
I think that's going to stay on there. Good, good. So once you get that back on there, right? So if you did have to take it off and you, you can glue it or you don't have to. The first time I put it back in, I didn't have to, but it was kind of a little bit of a battle to get it in there. Um, so anyways, uh, get the wires out of the way. Go ahead and put your screen back in. So I guess you would apply this if you did need to replace the screen like I'm going to have to do in the next video. Um, but what was really strange about this was what was caught, what I believe is causing the error now. I'm going to verify this. Now, one thing that I do want you to see is here's your plastic panel right here, right? These grooves, these are actually going to fit into, oh yeah, this is the other pane. This is a speaker right here. It keeps wanting to pop out. But these have hollow, these are hollow right here, and they're going to fit into these tabs uh, where the screws go in. So you're just going to place this over it. Okay, so let me kind of just get it situated in there. And then they're going to slide on over. And once you get that in there, and I'll try to show you how. So once you get those to go in, let me get this lined up properly. And the same goes on the top. So let me just get all that situated. And there we go. They slid in, that should be good. But now we've got to make sure all these pieces stay in place. So bear with me, there we go. Yep, and that's it, okay. So once it falls in place, right? You're just gonna put your panel back down, make sure your speaker's in there properly. And then just kind of fit this back in. It'll, it's, it'll just go nicely right where it needs to. If the panel's in place, this back, uh, this main board will go in place. Now, one thing I did want to check was this does hit from the uh, outside in, so uh, I just want to make sure that it fits back on there without issue, so give me a second. screw holes it's pretty simple just line it up on the screw holes and you'll be set and that is pretty much lined up on the screw holes let me just verify that we are in good shape here and my pieces keep falling out sorry these suckers do not want to stay so I will make sure to put them back keep tilting this over so I can show you guys and in return these things keep falling out but anyways let me just get to this point because I've got to get this thing closed up and ready to ship back Okay, so the speaker's in, buttons are in. And this is the wrong spot, that's where the problem is. All right, that's in, and it looks like we're good now, All right? Yep. Okay, so we're good now, so we're just gonna go ahead and set this in properly. And there is this wire right here, so let me go ahead and grab this. So you have this little red, all right there, make sure to just pull that out because if not, you're gonna, I didn't do it the first time and I'll have to be fishing for it later. Make sure you get all your wires set. We still have this one here that's under the board I need to get back out. Right here. There we go. And now our board pops in place very nicely, fits very well, and we are ready to start bolting everything back, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put the screws back in. I'm gonna go back to those four screws. One. Once you get that one in, the rest of them, everything will stay in place and you can just start putting the rest of them in. So here's two. And then we have our last one, four right over here. My little fat fingers don't fit this all that well, so I'm just gonna kinda make sure it's in there. Okay, here's my four screws. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, put my cables back together. So we have our set that go up here, our set that go right here, another set that go right here.
I set the right here. Four switches. <clears throat> All right. trailing black wire here that I did not get out so we'll just go ahead and loosen this up a little bit see if I can make this move just a hair so I can get this wire out of the way It's on this plug here, but uh, I must have, when I pulled it around, I must have left that one in there. So let me just loosen this and just get this. I think that did it right there. So let's now go ahead and grab this. I believe that cleared it. Yep. So I had just had that black wire cut in there. Now I'll go ahead and screw these back down. that we got our plugs back in we go ahead and put this one in and then we're gonna go ahead and get to our antenna so um, before you do too far go ahead and flip it over make sure everything lines up properly all right and I believe we are set except for this button here and that just means that I did not have this set to move properly so let me go ahead and adjust that real quick These buttons are kind of finicky. You've really got to get them to fall into place. And so uh, if you notice that once you tighten it, start pushing your buttons. If you notice you don't have the clicking of the movement, then you just need to turn it. And you can just poke it with a, a pair of you know, needle nose or something. It's not difficult. It just, they need to be turned a specific way to fall in place. They'll look like they're in place when you put the board on. But now, now we're good, okay? So anyway, so now we're at the point where we've got to attach our, attach our antenna, put our, our piece back in, and you're gonna have a set of screws here. So I'll show you how that's gonna work. <clears throat> um, so the first thing that we wanna do is, oh, we still have our, uh, our wire here too that I need to put back on. So let me grab that real quick. It must have fallen back in here when I took this board off. All right this on and we are ready to go okay so now what we've got is um, we've got our antenna set up and so this is gonna have to go back in first and so what you want to do is make sure to pull these wires out of the way because we're gonna zip tie them like they did from the factory um, so let's go ahead and get these put back on bent pin here that we want to fix. So I'm just going to kind of bend it back in place. Now we should have no problem getting this on. There we go. Let's put the second one in place. There we go. And don't forget that you have your antenna here that you need to connect so make sure it stays out of the way you can just run it to the side like that and just go ahead and push your antenna in place make sure your rollers uh, get uh, up to the top like they're supposed to and make sure your wires are all out of the way again we have a wire here that is in the way so let me go ahead and move this down and out of the way for now and now when we push this up there is our dials showing. We have everything connected. 
Now these are the wires that were zip tied, okay? So we're gonna go back and make sure to zip tie this, all right? Um, and uh, so we've got our screws now to go ahead and fasten this down. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Into. Sorry about that guys, I am putting this on, but I realized that I did not put the last screws in here that I need to, so we'll go ahead and knock that out real quick. Now I'll go ahead and put this last piece on down here. Go ahead and put the last screw over here. Okay, now to duplicate the zip tying, uh, obviously we're using black zip ties, but that doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna come on through here and zip tie these wires down. Okay. Let's see who it is it is. Okay. Going to pick up some new puppies. I'm very excited. So that was the gentleman letting me know. It is 106 in the morning and he's letting me know. This is awesome. I love this guy. He is awake like me, so we can get business done. Okay, so let's get this underneath, tucked away. There we go. Go ahead and remove those. All right, so far, everything's looking good. Uh, we will put our little joystick back in here in just a second. But right now, because I'm gonna be working upside down, there's no need to really do that. Okay, <clears throat> so what we've got left now is We've got to get our um, our battery connection back in and the way this is going to work is you've got two two sets here right and uh, we've got two housings here so the red goes on the left and the black goes on the right all right and you can see here where it's telling you that you've got the negative down but mainly the main the most important thing is to make sure that you get these set properly so that you've got them in the right order okay and so what we want to do because these are going to sit like this so we want to go ahead and get the yellow piece in. There we go. And we want this to sit comfortably right in the groove that it has it right here, just like that. Okay, and there's going to be a screw that goes down there. Good, everything is situated fine. Yeah, so that's good. And then we have the red one, which is gonna go down here. And it's gonna also situate somewhat in the same way. And so we're gonna sit it and make sure that we line up on our screw hole that goes right here. And just kind of tuck the wires out of the way. So now the question is where do I put that screw? And here it is, all right. So if you, like I said, if you do this backwards, then you'll know how to take yours apart. Um, but it's pretty, pretty much pretty easy after that. All right. So we know that this thing was getting super hot. Now I still got to put the antenna on. I'm going to need my old man goggles for that. So I apologize, but you guys know how to put an antenna on. Just snaps right in place like that. And then come on over there and put some hot glue on it. Just to kind of hold it in place. And you're good to go. Okay. So that's that. Now it's time to put the back plate on. But before I do, I want to go ahead and test and see if this works. And I'm going to tell you now what the problem was, but I'm going to see if I fixed it first because no sense in telling you if it's still a problem, then I'd like to have at least some bragging rights 
for uh, fixing this uh, issue. All right, so uh, this is all wappy jaw, but I think it'll still power up like that. Yep, it will. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is check this screen out because he was getting a reading. Um, okay, see, so he wasn't getting any of this before. Okay, so his screen was flickering, right? And um, let me get this all back to here. His screen was flickering and his voltage would start at like two volts or 0.2. I mean, it was crazy. And it would just start flickering and then all of a sudden it would read the proper voltage. And you could not touch this USB port. I mean, like, I couldn't do this. It was, it burned me. And I've got a small mark on my hand, which you probably can't see, but I've got a little small, small mark right there. This thing was overheating big time. Um, and it really caught me off guard. Now we've got it starting up and the voltage is reading 7.6 and the screen isn't flickering and everything looks good. So here was the problem, like I've said. <clears throat> Where is his memory stick? Okay, so it turns out that John had this memory stick and I'm gonna zoom in here real quick. So John had this memory stick in the controller, right? The memory stick is broken right there. What's exposed is wiring, okay? Some, some wiring or solid wiring or whatever you call it inside the memory stick. That was pressing against, that was in here pressing against the USB panel between on the board between the USB panel and the SD card reader and shorting it out. That was causing it to overheat, causing the controller to fail and leaving John wondering if he needed a whole new controller because he thought he did some damage to it. Well, it turns out that the controller is actually working pretty good. Um, and that there's no need to buy another one. So with that said, it's time to go ahead and close it up by putting the last piece on there. So we're gonna go ahead and get our, uh, let me just make sure everything's lining up properly, and it is. So at this point, I'm just gonna snap it back in. Now, unfortunately, John did not, John did not send me all the screws for his controller because um, he had already tried to get into it. So I only have a couple, but that's all right. I'm just gonna do those at least for the time being, and then he can finish it when he gets the unit back. Now the only thing is I gotta remember here, uh, I wanna say that this, the longer one goes in here, because that's gonna be to tighten our throttle stick, I believe, but let's just see, because I wanna make sure. Pretty sure that this screw came in here. And I just gotta get it placed in properly. I only got, like I said, I only got two screws sent to me with this, but it's to get it to, I would assume it would have lined up already, so I'm gonna, let me check. Yeah, that's right, it's just like gotta get this lined up. Let me see if I can just get this in there properly. So this is the one that I'm going to use to tighten the throttle. My apologies. Okay, so um, as far as that goes, this thing is working pretty good. It looks like it's good. Uh, we will go ahead now, make sure everything is set. Yep, looks good to me. All right. Uh, John will need to get some the proper screws in place, though, because we're not... We st there's still some work that needs to be done with the screws and bolting this uh, transmitter back together. Let me make sure I get this all done. And you do have to have the other screws in place, but we don't have that just yet. There we go. Well, that's it. 
just keep looking because I really want the other screws to close this up. Anyways, so <coughs> now that that's done, I know I'm kind of rambling here, sorry guys. Now that that's done, uh, we will go ahead and let me see what side these are on. There we go. There we go. And we should be able now to turn this on and not have any issue. Whoops, let me take this out. go and everything is looking good I do not like the screws are messed up and I feel like this screw here is giving me a little bit of a problem but uh, yeah, for the most part it's looking pretty good all right so there you go so that's how you get into your x-light and uh, that took care that did take care of the problem for John I'm glad that we fixed his controller I hope that he's able to find the rest of the screws I need to take this one out and I need this to sit in front. Oh, here we go. Let's see if that'll hold. All right, guys. Sorry, I know I'm kind of moving this all over the place. Let me just power this off again, make sure we're good. Yep. Looks good. Everything's starting up perfectly. All right. So there you go. And uh, that's it. So uh, if you have any questions, sorry, very slow and boring video. But uh, it is to help you get in the uh, X-Lite. Um, and uh, hopefully they'll give you guys some insight in that. If you have any questions, hit me up at Tark at CycleNFPV.com. It's 1.15 in the morning, I'm a little tired. So I'm sorry if I'm lacking some enthusiasm. But trust me, I enjoy doing this. And I'm glad that we got to do this one together. If you have any questions, you let me know. And make sure you're taking care of guys. If not, God bless, safe flying. And uh, we will see you soon. Talk to you, talk to you there. Bye. <laughs>